After yesterday's encounter at Sunjwa, the police teams of District Jammu, headed by SSP Jammu, and ably assisted by SP South, SDPO South, and SP Operations, they work tirelessly day and night to establish the conspirators, the identity of the conspirators who were behind this plan to carry out a suicide attack at Jammu. On the basis of technical analysis and evidence, we were able to zero in on a person called Shafi Kemal Sheikh. Shafi Kemal Sheikh is from Dral and he works at a walnut factory at Narwal, which is not very far away from Sunjwa where this encounter took place. He stays at the house of Iqbal, who is from the Malhajipura Kulgam, and who has a house in Jalalabad area of Sunjwa where this encounter took place. Along with him, his brother Asif also works. And both these brothers, Asif and Safi Kemal Sheikh, are deeply involved with terrorists of Jaish e Muhammad. Asif here at Jammu creates a telegram ID called Pagal Jamaat for Safi Kemal Sheikh, his own brother. He also provides another mobile with a SIM card to his brother. And his brother then contacts a Jaish commander in Pakistan by the name Veer. His telegram identity, identity is Veer, the person at Pakistan. The commander of Jaish at Pakistan instructs him to go to Jammu, where he says he will receive a group of suicide attackers who will be brought to Jammu at his place of residence by someone. He did not disclose his name, but we have identified that person by the name of Bilal Ahmed Vage. Bilal Ahmed Vage is from Kokarnath and he sets out on the instructions of jaish e Muhammad from Kashmir and from Pulwama in Kashmir at 10 a.m. on the 20th of April. He reaches Jammu around evening time and stays at Transport Nagar. At night at 12, p.m., 12 a.m. he sets out for Supwal in Samba area and from there he picks up two terrorists of jaish e Muhammad who were carrying a huge quantity of arms and ammunition in a truck sack. They board the truck, it's a medium sized truck and there are vegetable crates, empty vegetable crates behind the truck. There is also a cavity created very neatly inside the truck among the vegetable crates where these people, these two terrorists hide. And then the truck moves towards Jalalabad in Sujwa. The truck has four people, the driver Bilal Ahmad Vege, a co-driver and these two terrorists. They reach Jalalabad at around 2.30 am on the 21st. And from there, Shafi Kemal Sheikh picks up the two terrorists, takes him to his house, keeps them there for the entire day. During the day, he says that these two terrorists used his mobile and telegram ID to contact the Jaish commander, Elias Veer. And then they discussed their plans and the directions were given 
by Veer to Shafiq to take them to the nearest security force location and cause maximum damage. They were instructed to go out the same night and cause that level of damage which is good enough to deter and to discourage the VVIP visit. Before these people could set out on their mission, we receive inputs from inputs from intelligence that there are two terrorists in this area. We got on of that area with the help of CRPF and other forces. And we managed to keep them holed up inside the garden throughout the night. This was a crucial effort because had they been able to move out with the kind of suicide vest and the kind of arms ammunition they were carrying, they could have caused huge damage. And we could manage to keep them hold inside and the, in, the, in the operation which followed in the morning, you all know that the two terrorists were eliminated. The fact that these two terrorists were picked up from Samba and moved towards Jalalabad is also corroborated by crucial CCTV evidence along the way. There are two CCTV evidence which point out towards the movement and towards the timing of the movement. It is also known that these two terrorists did not speak Kashmiri language and also did not speak Dogri or Hindi which Shafiq knows. Shafiq understands Hindi, Kashmiri and Dogri. He says that they were speaking in a language he could not understand. When he was made to listen to a Pashto language, he said yes, this was the language which they were speaking. This indicates that the two Fidayn attackers were from either Pakistan in the territories contiguous to Afghanistan where this language is spoken or were Afghanis. This is the information which we have at present. We are working on the leads. We are hopeful that the two absconding accused are arrested soon. Thank you.